Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chad Shi. I'm the solution engineer from Advantech. Today I'm doing the unboxing video for one of our uh, IoT development kit. Right. Uh, we call it the Edge Intelligence Server Starter Kit. Right. So in this kit, we include both sensors, we include the power line, we include the software, and we also include the IoT gateway. Uh, it all, everything inside this pack. Right. Uh, it's, let's start with the packaging. Um, we have a complete IoT connection solution. So it's not just uh, hardware. Uh, we also provide a software framework that allow uh, local IoT data to be collected. Right? And also we have, uh, it's in the, it shows in all-in-one development package. Uh, we include uh, um, development tools and also Microsoft Azure Cloud service, uh, one, one month free trial. Uh, that allow you to host your cloud application. And uh, last one, uh, the plug and play experience IoT. Right? In, in this package, we include one of the demo process, uh, pro demo program that allow you to just uh, plug, uh, plug in all the cable and, and we'll get it ready to run for one, one of your first IoT application. So let's start with the unpack. Let's start doing the unboxing. Uh, it's so the first layer, uh, we are going to find out um, a user menu. Right? This way on will guide you through the basic setup process. Right? The, on the second layer, let's start from my side. Right? It's, a, it's a fan, it's a 5 volt. Uh, fan that we are going to trigger it using a digital output and this is a temperature and humidity sensor uh, we are going to read the data from this sensor uh, using digital input and this uh, is um, an LED right? uh, we can trigger this LED using digital output and this guy here uh, this is interesting uh, the model number is WISE 4012 uh, it is a wireless digital I.O. module. Right? We can read the digital input and also trigger digital output through wireless. We'll talk about this a little bit more a bit later. Yeah. So let's move on. On the bottom layer, we have a fanless uh, IoT gateway, or we call it um, Edge Intelligence Server Starter Kit. Right. It, this one has two HDMI, right. uh, two Ethernet port, one, one on this side and uh, one on another side. And two USB, right. this one is a power jack. And on the other side, we have two antenna uh, plug. This is for the Wi-Fi connection. Right. We have one USB on this side. We have the COM port, a uh, serial port on this side, one. We have the audio port and we have a power button here. Right. This uh, fanless system also comes with software installed. We have the latest WISE Pass uh, software package installed together with this uh, uh, hardware. And also all the user menu, all the documentation of this software, how you connect everything together, how we set up the cloud service, everything, all the documents are on, on the hard drive of this device. Let's continue. Let's see. Uh, we have a uh, power cord, power adapter. Uh, we have the antenna of the Wi Wi Fi. And in this bag, we have a couple cables. Yeah, we are going to connect all the sensors together. So, next, let's put them together uh, and test out our very first. IoT application. Okay, so we refer to the second session of the user menu. It tell you how to connect the cable with the sensors. Everything is color coded, so it's pretty straightforward, right? So let's start with the device. So this cable here. Yeah. and also we we are using a foolproof plug so pretty much there's no way you can get it wrong right? and 
have the LED. Okay. Okay. Here. system yeah. next we are connecting the sensor with the with the wireless uh, IO module here okay. and next we have this power need cutting Last, we install the antenna, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. That's that's all we need to connect. And next, we are going to power this uh, IoT gateway up, and we look at the, some software. Uh, what what kind of software we provide together with the package? Right. Okay, so the system boot into the Windows. Uh, the, the version we are using right now is the Windows Embedded 7. And by next month, we are going to have Windows 10 version ready. Right. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what we have on the desktop. Right. Uh, the first folder from the upper left is the WisePass document. It includes all the documentation and reference SOP uh, for this demo kit and also some of the software from Web Access. Right. And next is the uh, Advantech dashboard URL generator. We are, we are going to use this uh, small program a little bit later. The next one, uh, Chrome and also the Node Rate. Node Rate is the uh, graphical um, programming. In Utility. Uh, it's you, 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 can, you are able to create uh, programming uh, through web browser. Right? You are able to connect uh, data flow, uh, data flow from the different sensor to API and even to the cloud. Right? And next one is the WisePass WikiLink. Right? Uh, so for every news uh, and update, you can find it from uh, the wiki page we have. The next folder is the Web Access IMM. It is um, Multimedia uh, deploy and management software. Right? Uh, we have both the server and the client uh, utility that's included with this uh, DK10. And next is Web Access SCADA software. Right? Uh, in case if you have some automation application you want to uh, achieve, right? uh, Web Access SCADA is the software you should use. Right. Next, we have the WisePass OTA. The OTA stands for uh, over the air. Right? You can use this utility to uh, remotely upgrade uh, the client's configuration or even um, install certain uh, application. Right. And next is the WisePass RMM, which is uh, which is this demo about. Uh, uh, the WisePass RMM stands for Remote Management and Monitoring. Right? We are able to um, obtain the information from the client and store on the server. Right? This is a type of software infrastructure. Uh, within this, uh, we have we'll provide the server and we'll provide the uh, agent. Like RMM uh, server. So this one is a server and this one is uh, agent here. Right? Um, so we in, in this demo, we have the agent pre-installed on the ARC or the IoT gateway. And also we have the RMM server pre-installed right, on the Microsoft Azure Cloud. So you don't have to run the uh, installation again. Right. Uh, next, we have the WisePass security. Right? Uh, in, in the security, we provide acronyms uh, for data and hard drive. And also McAfee for antivirus. And the last one would be the DK10 user menu, right? So that's the information we provided. So for the demo, right? After we power up the system, we need to connect to the uh, access wireless access point that's uh, established by the wireless I/O module. The SSID will be named as 
WISE 4012 and followed by its uh, last six digit of the MAC address, right? I have this connected and uh, Let's use the browser to access the link. So the default address will be uh, 192.168.1.1.1 and the default uh, account is root and the password is eight zeros Let me try one more time. Let's Okay, um, so you can, when you have chance, you can play around it because it's such an interesting device. But in this case, uh, let me take a look at the IO status and uh, specifically the digital output. Right, so in this demo, we connect the ch digital output channel 0 to the LED. So we can actually trigger the LED from this uh, web page. And turn it off. And, and next we can, uh, the channel 1 is connected to the fan, right? So um, let's turn it on, okay, and turn it off, right? So in this we just make sure we connect the right sensor, uh, right device to the correct channel. And we also confirm that uh, the link between the wire, wireless I.O. device and the, the IoT gateway are established. Right, so we consider that as the southbound, and next we are going to check the northbound. Northbound we refers to from the IoT gateway to the server. Right, so we are going to the server setting of RMA agent. Right, and it's going. To so let's try one more time. Okay. So uh, as you can see, there is an agent ID, and it shows the status is connected. The server name and address is is here. We we host the cloud space on uh, Microsoft Azure, right? This is the pre pre configured link, right? And in case if you want to uh, create your own server, either local, remote, or even a cloud server, you can use. Uh, you, you that's the this is the place you put in the the link for the agent to connect to the server. Right, and uh, next uh, we use this link to generate uh, a link that connect. Uh, let's let's store the data uploaded by this device. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. So as you can see, the address is um, advantage is. Is Asia Cloud Application Microsoft uh, Cloud Cloud Space Azure Cloud Space, and you can access this page from any device uh, and from anywhere in the world. Right? Uh, as you can see, we have the humidity data and temperature data being uploaded to the cloud space, and we have the digital trigger button. Right? Let's try give it a try. Uh, we can turn on the LED, right, and turn it off. And we can turn on the fan, right? Uh, everything through this uh, web page, right? right. Um, so, due to the time, um, I will not be able to show you how to modify what data to collect and uh, how to modify the data flow uh, in this demo. Uh, you will be able to find all this information with detail uh, step uh, in the user menu folder. Um, that's the documentation folder on the desktop. That concludes my uh, unboxing of the EIS DK10 uh, IoT Developer Kit. Uh, for more information, uh, you can go to uh, our IO Advantage IoT Developer Forum. Uh, where I will have the address here. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you.